Hello, this is Jacob Avila of 5 Minutes Sono, and today we are going to talk about necrotizing soft tissue infections, or as they're also known as necrotizing fasciitis. Your probe of choice for this examination is going to be the linear transducer. This has the highest frequency and will give you the highest resolution image. Now, there are a few ultrasound findings that you can look for to try and diagnose that NSTI, and that includes thickening of the tissue, deep fluid collections, fascia irregularity, and subcutaneous air. Now, I think most of us think about subcutaneous air with necrotizing soft tissue infections, but you definitely don't need to have air present in order to diagnose this. This is a normal foot. So this is normal subcutaneous tissue, uh, maybe a little bit of muscle down here, some veins, that's these circular things. This is a hyperchoic cortex here and here with some shadowing. These are the foot bones or the toes. This is pretty bad cellulitis here. If you see this, it should definitely increase your suspicion that this patient may have something else besides just regular old edema. Notice all the pockets of fluid around it. When you have increased fluid collection, it should raise your suspicion of an NSTI. This right here is another foot that has an NSTI, a necrotizing soft tissue infection. So let's pause it and we're gonna cycle back to about here. Now there is a lot of subcutaneous thickening here, a lot of thickening. The architecture is all distorted, but look at this right here. This right here is hyperechoic, so it's something that's reflective with a bunch of dirty shadowing behind it. If you see this above where the bone should be, this should raise your suspicion that it is actually air. Air causes this hyperechoic little border here with some shadowing underneath it. Here's an example of increased edema and air. So we have this hypoechoic fluid around these little pockets of subcutaneous tissue. Then we have this very irregular border of hyperechoic something up here, this something is air, with some dirty shadowing underneath it. This is what subcutaneous air looks like, and this is a necrotizing soft tissue infection or neck fash. This is Fournier's gangrene, which is actually the first time that necrotizing soft tissue infections were introduced. Here's a testicle, and if you look right here, this right here almost looks like bone, but you see there's a bit of a mirror artifact down here. This is almost like an A-line. This is a bunch of air inside the tissue of the perineum. This is all a bunch of thickened tissue. This is a necrotizing soft tissue infection as well. Now it's easy to focus in on the gas, but that's actually a later finding. The other thing to make sure to keep an eye on is the presence of a fluid layer in the deep tissues. And this is what you see here highlighted by all the arrows. This fluid thickness strike is arguably the most important thing to consider when trying to determine if the thing you're looking at is regular cellulitis or an NSTI. This study was a retrospective review of 95 patients 48 with neck fash and 47 with non-neck fash or regular cellulitis. And they found that the biggest differentiator was actually this fluid accumulation. This had the best predictive value for figuring out if it was cellulitis or neck fash. Now, one thing that you can also do, and this is from that same study, is look at the thickness of that fluid collection. So that's that fluid collection that's just deep to that subcutaneous tissue. And notice as that thickness increased, the specificity and the positive predictive value all increase. So the thicker that you see that fluid stripe deep to the subcutaneous tissue, the more likely it is to be an NSTI rather than just plain old cellulitis. Another thing is that if you see air present, that is very unlikely to be cellulitis. So if you see air with a very thickened stripe, be highly suspicious for a necrotizing soft tissue infection. So to recap, necrotizing soft tissue infections are very similar to cellulitis. They're just like a worse cellulitis. The two big differentiators between the two are going to be air in the subcutaneous tissue and a fluid stripe deep to that subcutaneous tissue. That's it for this week's 5-Minute Sono. Please feel free to send me an email or a tweet, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Go to blog5 slash subscribe, put in your name and your email address in a little text box, and never miss another video.